looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and their coins are currently discounted a ton. Make sure to take advantage and use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, it's Sunday. We got Football Sunday, so I'm going to keep it nice and sweet today. One video for you guys in the morning. Of course, watch this throughout the day. And that's pretty much it. Go enjoy your football. There's not too much on Sundays, of course. We don't usually have content. Unless we have a surprise LTD or something, which I don't really expect for this week. That's more of a promo style thing. We don't really have an ongoing promo right now. But guys, enough of that. When we go over what to expect for the most feared promo, I do expect that this week, or at least at least some hints or a early reveal or something by Friday, because by Friday we're looking at what is it like the 16th, 17th already, and at, or 15th-ish. But at that point, usually most feared does start. I think last year everything started around like the 16th to the 19th, and that was like a delayed year. So hopefully. This is more in time, but about it for that, we're going to go into them to show you guys some of the players from last year, kind of go over what I expect and kind of how this is going to run, uh, run down from a market standpoint, a few other things. But for today's Poodle Squad shout out, if you guys do want to be shouted out, all you got to do is like the video, turn that on you up, boys. And of course, as always, comment down below Poodle Squad. And for today's Poodle Squad shout out, we got Jberg007. Shout out to you, man, for being part of the Poodle Squad. Thank you so much for showing support in each and every video. I appreciate you. Thank you. And if you guys need coins for anything, of course, head over to my reserve down below. Pick up some coins, players, and our training. Everything's discounted. Make sure you use code Poodle for an additional 15% off. Now, moving on. All right, so I do expect it. Uh, my guess is probably by Friday, we at least know something, right? Maybe a reveal for like a Monday. But typically, promos come on Friday. So I imagine it's this Friday because if they do wait another Friday, that will leave us with Friday the 23rd. And I don't see them doing like a seven to eight day promo. So I'm thinking this Friday. So start prepping this week now from a market standpoint you know that's going to kill the market because again it every new a seasonal promo introduces the best players typically at their position for the most part so if we're going to do quarterback going to probably be one of the best quarterbacks whether if it's a mobile quarterback if it's a pocket passer that's a different dynamic but we're probably going to see what's scary fast some of the fast players in the field so instantly all the other fast guys go down a notch as well so you do have to account for that now the only players that won't be impacted too much are the newest uh players like the newest legends and stuff so this is going to be the only filter of players where you may not see the most drastic change we will but like right here so if you come on down like a, a vic and a dion vic dion ricky jackson these guys steve smith probably all stay now steve smith will come down a bit because i do imagine a better receiver coming but ricky jackson's a pass rusher who's insane he's gonna be good regardless if you're all threshold typically your value won't be killed too much and then vic and dion of course are vic and dion use them all year now only way vic comes down is if we see a most feared lamar which i do not think a most feared Mahomes would be insane and be probably better than Vic, but because of the Russian dynamic, Vic's always going to keep his value in demand. Like, he's always going to have demand because he's still the, or the rusher versus the pure pocket passer that Mahomes is going to feel like right now because Mahomes isn't going to get the speed just yet. Uh, even with, like, an 80 speed, he's still not a rusher. He's just merely, like, he's like an improviser. So, Vic's and Lamar still hold that threshold of pure speed, so you know that they're not going to be going anywhere anytime soon, as well as Dion. So, don't expect too much. Like, if you have any of these players, don't think you have to panic sell. Maybe guys like mean joe green guys i'll go down and have a mean joe green barry if we finally see a new running back that can really just take that threshold and probably a few of these lower guys that's about it though everything else is going to be here on down just like i just want to give you guys that rundown for the market for selling your team and stuff these are the guys that will come down a bit more like these are the guys that will be impacted the most this is like the middle class we're gonna get a bunch of new middle round players too as part of sets as well as heroes so do expect that to come down we will be getting a new currency as well and you know currency always changes the dynamic of the market it could raise training if people stop focusing on training for that week it could lower training if people don't care for the currency and they just want to stick with the train or if there's no tra if there's a training set to get the currency like like uh, use training to get something that gets your currency kind of thing training can go up a lot of different ways this could take but here we go let's get into the breakdown so for the sets we do expect typically three things we've had in the past we had scary tall scary fast scary strong last year i think we had scary sharp scary fast scary strong uh so they did replace scary shaw scary tall and scary strong now i do like that scary tall i didn't really like i, I called it the slow promo because uh or the, the slow set because scary tall was all these tall people with bad speeds if we just get fitzgerald slow putting gonzalez slow only good thing about it though is that i do believe with scary tall we did get a calvin one time i could be wrong you can check me on that one but i think we got a calvin one time so that was cool but all the players you get in the set were kind of worth this like larry fitzgerald and stuff we have got Tony Gonzalez there as well, who was good, but he was too slow. Now, the one we usually care about the most is Scary Fast and Scary Strong. Scary Strong typically brings along a Ray Lewis, 
and scary fast typically brings along someone crazy fast i'm hoping they finally do it this year they give us a tyree kill scary fast player i feel like we're right around that i feel like that that's just do like scary fast i do expect the mustard i expect a tyree kill maybe an upgrade on locket although i don't think so because we got him on the uh i think rugs i think we're gonna see rugs hill and mustard those are gonna be one of the three players are gonna be seeing in that thing specifically and then of course that's how we're gonna be running that down then there's gonna be exchange sets there's gonna be solos there's gonna be free players hopefully a house rules uh most feared house rules oriented thing and don't forget about the enraged players now not the biggest of deals from a coin standpoint or anything but players do enrage on halloween and like i believe the morning of and the next day in the morning of so pretty much enraged means that any most feared players become like superheroes to like super mutt players on halloween which is where their overall increases a ton sometimes they become let's say tyler lock is five foot eleven on halloween he's six foot eight or seven foot one and his speed to 99 like it's crazy stuff that happened on halloween i personally don't like it like i don't well it's fun but i don't enjoy playing online with it it just looks stupid and i can't competitively play with it but it's all it's fun but that's because i'm playing competitively if you're just trying to play for fun and enjoy yourself it's definitely a fun experience especially if you're playing your friends like playing your friends is fun with it but like weekend league i just can't get down doing that weekend league but of course when cards are enraged typically the prices are up a little bit because people are either overrating their their new overall or in the past they have fixed that it as well will show up in a regular filter instead of that one to not trick people but still the prices are also increased because their stats are getting people want to play with them so sometimes it pays to stack up on enraged cards but i'll take you guys over to the screen real quick and show you guys what cards we saw last year ray lewis was our scary strong set master and then we had peyton manning who was our scary sharp master now the thing with last year was we didn't have three masters we only had two so for scary fast we just got players now i don't like that they didn't give us a scary fast master that was kind of stupid but like we have scary sharp scary uh strong and scary fast we should have three different sets they only give us two again maybe because they were behind i remember there was a delayed release on this after initially being early but peyton manning was it was a bust i don't really care for him it was really ray lewis that was cool so hopefully this year they give us three now they did give us three sunday ltds i do expect that again or something similar we got Le'Veon bell dante hall and calais campbell quite honestly all of them were useless dante hall was cool for like a minute and then he wasn't but again it's the idea that counts it's the it's the system the system looks great it's it's like you know what i mean like it's like the patriots right no matter who you put in no matter what you do it seems like they have a system and they're going to be able to perform to a certain extent above a certain threshold of where they believe they stand that's how i see most of your promo they set it up nicely they may have not slotted in the right players but again if they just pick other players there's a good chance we hit big this year because again scary sharp maybe no one like Peyton man but maybe they give us a really cool master like again i don't know who they could put a scary sharp who are the most cerebral players that we'd want? Scary Strong again. You can't go wrong with him. Now for the LTDs, Le'Veon Bell, Calais Campbell, or, uh, and Dante Hall. The issue with Dante Hall was he couldn't do anything but run. Uh, Calais Campbell was just slow. Didn't hit his threshold. Had to do all the cam up power up stuff. And he was too expensive. And then Le'Veon Bell's too slow. If they happen to put a Scary Sharp player that's not Le'Veon Bell, or let's say Scary Fast is where they give us LTD Tyreek, like he could hit big. So I'm excited for next year. And then these were our uh, heroes that went to the set. We had Earl Thomas, Ty Lockett, Cam Newton, Frederick, Ward, Sue. And I believe that was it, right? <laughs> I thought we had one more. Uh, I guess not. And this was uh, the Cauldron player. So that was cool too. The Cauldron where you had to like collect the pieces and you had to get the items to, to build up to Michael Thomas. That was pretty cool as well. So I hope we do see that again. That was definitely fun. Like all this stuff was definitely fun for the most part. It was enjoyable. Now again, why did I wish they didn't pick Michael Thomas because they gave him an 85 speed. If they just put the right players, like they turned this set build into a Travis Kelsey, let's just say, or, or a Kittle or... um or someone fun you put someone good there everyone's doing that you give us the right heroes now the heroes were good denzel ward was good travis frederick was good cam newton was cool ty lockett was good and earl thomas was decent so like again they hit um, i'd say about three three out of the six here so if they just change michael thomas they hit on these again but the system is great like i really enjoyed it like we got masters we got lts on three sundays straight we got solos to play we also have the anthony Barr in the solos then we had these most feared cards the lower ones like they hit everywhere they had a free ones that we can get i think it was the curry cohen so this was all fun everything about this promo was amazing it was just i didn't really like the players they picked like aj green not exactly keanu neal not exactly anthony Barr, not exactly michael tom but you again you just pick one other guy and this becomes significantly better i'm super hyped for most feared most feared is typically the kickoff of madden for me like that's like when we're i love seasonal promos seasonal promos are the most fun most fear is definitely gonna be fun i hope they go back to older school card art though like madden 13 with like the pumpkins and the trick-or-treat stuff that stuff was fun i really hope they take that route again but that's pretty much what to expect from most fear i think i went pretty much in depth on this like you guys can hopefully have a good understanding and then to just increase on what we could add to this would be of course on most of your house rules like i said before hopefully they hit on that as well we don't need much just give us like give us a free hero like they did last year i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure i got tyler lockett out of my pack get a free hero you can use it to complete the master set 
that's it. That's all I asked for. That, that's, that's pretty much cool for me. I think it'd be cool if they also incorporated Halloween onto other card arts, like, like even like the Legends for that month, like Halloween Legends or something, like the month of October Legends. I think it'd be cool if they did something similar like that. But again, I don't know if they'll go that far. But I do see a lot of potential for this promo. Again, if they follow last year's mold. And again, it's just, it's just fun. Now, what I would like is a cool Madden interface. Such as when most feared when when, it, when the when most feared is going on like that two weeks this whole screen in the background has like like branches and cobwebs and like pumpkins as your background I think they should really add stuff like that and then on the dates and rage everything's like glowing red all the branches and stuff I think that'd be super cool but that's about it for this video guys I think I covered everything I want to go over that's pretty much what to expect I broke down just about every detail I think from last year that stands uh, the currency was bats if you guys are wondering this year it could be pumpkins it could be candy corn we've seen we've seen a few things but hopefully it's awesome super excited I'm expecting probably Friday. At least this week we'll have a hint as like when we'll know. I'm assuming Friday, but again, it could be pushed back more. It really depends on their pace. But that's about it for the video. Thank you guys for watching. I'm out. Enjoy the rest of your day. If you need coins, head over to Marvel Reserve down below. Make sure you use code Poodle for 15% off. Go pick up those new 50 players. Go pick up those new legends. They're awesome. And of course, Poodle Squad shout out. Like the video, turn that noty bell boys. And of course, comment Poodle Squad. That's about it. Make sure to subscribe. I'm out. Peace.